All right, ladies and gentlemen, introducing you to the two fighters here. We fight four by three minute rounds. We do it with the catch weight of 65 kilos. Introducing to you first, standing across in the blue corner. Dip the scale, 65 kilos. Where's the black trunks with the gold trim? Travels to us tonight where he is trained out of the Gladstone Boxing Club by Greg East. Tonight, he makes his professional debut. This is Brandon East. And his opponent standing across in the red corner. He also weighed in 65 kilos. He wears the white trunks with the red trim travels to us tonight from the Gold Coast train by Taps Oppertire from the Oppertire Boxing Club. His professional fight record to date, a perfect one. Three fights, three wins yet to taste defeat. One big win coming by way of knockout. This is Bo the Good Woods. Yes, there he is, Bo the Good Woods. He's representing Team... Uh, team Apataya tonight. He's in the white trunks there with the red trimmings out of the red corner. His opponent, Brandon East, in the black trunks, blue corner. Now he's out of Gladstone Boxing Club representing country Queensland there in Gladstone. It is Brandon East on the left of screen taking on Bo Woods in this one to be fought over four three-minute rounds. Drury Forbes alongside one of Queensland's most promising Cruiserweights Ricky E. Silva, and we are underway here between Bo Woods from Team Apatea and Brendan East from the Gladstone Boxing Club. Another uh, Southpaw versus Orthodox as well. Let's see if you watch their feet when we uh, camera pans out, we'll see who's uh, taking the dominant foot position. Well, there you go. So, advantage to Bo Woods already, Ricky. Is, is that what you're alluding to there? Um, I wouldn't say it's we know how this ends, don't we? <laughs> Yeah, so far so good, but um, <laughs> you know, I wouldn't say it's always an advantage. There are a lot of orthodox fighters who really know how to fight southpaws. Mm -hmm. um, it's just you got to figure out. Oh, see, something uh, um, my coach Steve has always said from NTG. You know, he's he's always said that lead left hook on an orthodox against a southpaw fighter always really does the job. You know, of course, Steve Lahanko, one of the best in the business. You're lucky to have in your yeah, corner. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the whole team down there at NTG is great. But they really are. So, good strong start there from the orthodox fighter, Brandon East, in the black trunks. Up against the southpaw, Bo Woods, in the white trunks. Nice little short left there from Woods. Both fighters exchanging punches early on here. And there is Bo the Goods Woods. Just in the centre of the ring at the moment, just working Brandon East around. Nice little uppercut there from the right from Woods, but responding is Brandon East with a flurry of punches himself. Nice little combination. I notice um, Woods keeps switching signs. He's going southpaw when he's out at range, and then he switches to orthodox as soon as he comes in close. Okay. Something we're probably more used to seeing in mixed martial arts. Uh, just mixing it up here is Bo the Goods Woods out of Team Off Attire tonight. See, there is an Orthodox and it's just Southpaw again. It takes their lead foot on the outside. Just looking to get underneath there. Oh, Brandon that, East just trying to pick his moments. There's that straight left. You have to be careful of that. And the left to the body there from the Goods Woods. He's finishing the round strongly here, Woods, in the white trunks. There goes Brandon East with a little one-two, but it doesn't phase Woods. Back to that southpaw stance for now in Woods. He's got his opponent in the corner at the moment as he moves in. A couple little uppercuts, misses with the right hook. Slip that needed to be made there from Brandon East. Final 10 seconds here in this opening round. It was probably more Brandon East to start off with, but Bo Woods just starting to find his rhythm now. Yeah, definitely thinking, mate. You know, you never know. At the end of the round, he could have stole the end of the round. It just really depends on how the judges are watching the fight and how they see the fight. So that's the end of the first as Brandon East sucks them in there with his Gladstone Boxing Club team. Team up a tyre in the corner of Bo Woods. 
as we have a look at the highlights from the first round. There we go. Oh, see that left hook for an orthodox to a southpaw works every time. And here you see again, he's switched there to an orthodox stance. We ate a left hook again, though. You better keep that right hand up. Of course, Ricky E. Silver training out of NTG Fight and Fitness in uh, Slacks Creek, I yeah. believe. Yeah, there yeah. in Brisbane South. And you've got the great Steve Wahanka, of course, uh, in that gym. Uh, you've got, uh, I think, uh, the, the Leopie boys and Pangai Jr. get down there. And, of course, you've got the ageless wonder, Mike Simpson. Who also trains down there. Big old Mike, yeah, yeah. You'd know him, wouldn't you, Ricky? Of course. Everyone knows Mike, eh? <laughs> Everyone knows Is he Mike. here tonight? Uh, I haven't seen him, but I'm sure if he's here, he'll come say hello. Well, if you're here or if you're listening, the ageless wonder Mike Simpson, a cheerio to you. Always gives you with the smile, he does. <laughs> so round number two. And Ricky, how do you see this fight unfolding? You know... I think you have to watch two rounds to get an understanding of how the fight's going to go. But I think um, East definitely landed well, a Well, you're on the big bucks, Ricky. We'll ask you after one. How do you, how do you see this going? You know, I think if, uh, if, if the goods keeps his right hand up, he should do a lot better, you know. But um, he's been hit with a few big left hooks. Although you may be able to take them at the start, eventually it starts to wear down. And the more you take, the more they hurt. Brandon East just showcasing a nice little combination earlier. Left straight left. So Bo Woods, centre of the ring here. How can Brandon East respond? He's staying active East. He's moving around. Now Woods oh. comes in for his prey. Looking very comfortable out there, Bo Woods. Definitely cut the ring off nicely there. He Moving throws with well. his chin up in the air a little bit too much, I'd say, but he seems to be pulling it off okay. Not catching as many left hooks this round. Really good centre of gravity for Woods. He's looking very comfortable. He's uh, moving around his footwork. Ricky looks pretty good at the moment. No pun intended. <laughs> so he's taking that lead foot on the outside every time. Just having his way with East, a little uppercut there has East on the back foot. Just over a minute remaining here in the second. I definitely think East needs to throw a few more punches this round. He's really giving it away. Last round he came out swinging and this round he's sort of just moved a lot but hasn't really thrown much back. Indeed. Indeed. Interesting to see when he makes his move, Brandon East, or if in fact it's... Bo Woods just really suffocating him at the moment. But he needs to show something east. He's still moving okay. As you say, Ricky, not a lot of punches thrown. Goes on the counter there, but nothing beyond a two-punch combo and missed. And Woods goes again. Taking a bit of punishment here, East. What do you make of East's defence? Um, I think he's doing all right. He's a bit of a, a standing target. Keeps moving the exact same way, you know. He, he gets his hands up, but then moves forward, and that's why he keeps getting caught with that uh, rear uppercut. There you and go. Scoring there was Bo Woods. Final 10 seconds as he's in control here and some body shots now. And East just really doing a lot of defending and not a lot of attacking. Brandon yeah. East as I Bo think... Woods brimming with confidence as he heads to his red corner. Yeah, you know, I think that was a strong round for the goods. Um, if the East had actually thrown back, I think it would have it would have been a lot more even round, but I'm going to have to give that round to the, the goods. So Bo, the Woods goods, taking on Brandon East as we have a look at the round two highlights. Yeah, see, there's that uh, uh, rear uppercut I was talking about before. You know, that landed nice and flush. If you, if you sit there too much and you sit there for too long, you know, eventually you start getting picked off. I mean, if you think about it, like how many rounds can you do in a boxing bag? The boxing bag is not hit back. It makes it very easy to hit. How many rounds can you do on a boxing bag, Ricky? Well, actually, seeing as you asked, um, two days ago I did two hours and 13 minutes straight on the boxing bag. So, yeah. Two hours and 13. But, gee, Steve Wahanko is working hard, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. That was in the middle of the day, nice hot sun in the in the sky in the little sauna. It was good. So how many rounds did that equate to, do you think? Two hours and 13 minutes worth. 
didn't put a didn't put a timer on. I just went straight. Sounds like about ten to twelve rounds to me. We're back underway here <laughs> in the third. Woods and East, and over the halfway mark here, Brendan East. He'll need to show something here in this third. You would think he's still moving well. He hasn't really been rocked by anything, but uh, it's certainly been all Bo Woods up until this point. East, East is doing a good job of trying to apply that pressure, but he's sort of more following um, the goods around. You know, he's not cutting off the ring as opposed to, you know, like he'll follow him around, he's keeping the pressure on, but the goods is just moving out and taking the openings when he can. A couple little uppercuts there from Bo the Goods Woods. And if we look, if we talk about the velocity of, of both their punches, Ricky. Also seems to be just a lot more force from the fists of Bo Woods than of Brandon East at this point in time. Yeah, he's. I mean, he's got a high work rate, and he's putting those shots. And you can really see he's turning his knuckle with the shots. Um, you know, he's got a great coach, um, and I think that makes that makes a massive difference. You know, he's. You see, his his work rate there is what's really I think going to steal him this, this fight. Looks very fit. Bo Woods, is that another change of stance again, potentially? Brandon East just doing a lot of defending and it's taking a little bit of sting out of his punches when he does throw some. See, I learned, I learned a long time ago, you know, when you when you get those body shots, although they don't hurt, imagine like you've got a gas tank, right? And every time you get hit in the body, it's a little hole in that gas tank and the fuel starts leaking out. So the more holes you get, the faster the fuel leaks out. So a lot of like in the longer rounds, like the 10 to 12 round fights, you usually try to go to the body early that way that the gas tank, as people say, before they gas out, is leaking early on. An insight there into the the the, the wisdom down there at NTG Fight and Fitness <laughs> and the uh, the boxing minds. And thank you, Ricky. We certainly uh, know you've had some success to the body in your professional career thus far a very successful professional career to date final 20 seconds in this third round it's woods having it his own way scoring at ease at the moment yeah he's, he's, he's nice really and close. needs to start firing back in this in the last round or even these last 10 seconds he's uh, taking a lot of punishment but you never know in fighting sports you know one punch can change an entire fight so final seconds in the third and Woods dominating at the moment. And Brandon East, there he is. He heads back to the blue corner. And a little bit of claret now coming from the nose. He's had to do so much defending. Can he show something in this final round? Brandon East, he'll have to. Plenty of support here tonight. A healthy crowd here to watch this Boxing Bazaar 4 card. And uh, plenty, of, uh, plenty of fans here wanting to get a piece of Ricky E. Silver as we head into the final fourth and final round in this one Bo Woods in the red corner there on screen you would think he is ahead up against Brandon East in the blue corner who will have to have a huge round here in the last and Woods straight to his feet so he's ready to go he's in the zone at the moment isn't he yeah he really is he looks ready to go he's ready to get this round over and done with He's looking a little bit more fatigued. I think those body shocks are definitely playing a big part to that. So final round, final three minutes. And what can Brandon East show us here tonight as part of Boxing Bazaar 4, thanks to Four Elements Promotions? Oh, a little bit low. Assumption and now East opens up. Woods responds. Sometimes all you need is a low blow to get going. Might have fired up East a little bit. There you go. You know, when I think, I think personally, I think he's down two rounds to one. Um, he really needs to pick this round up, I think, in order to get a win. Well, it's now or never. You're absolutely right. Less than two minutes to go, East, and 
It's now or never. Let's see what offensive range he has. He needs to throw more punches. It's all Woods at the moment. Yeah, good's got, uh, um, the Good's got some good footwork, though. He keeps spinning him around and turning him and making him move, and I think that's what's making East not be able to set his feet and start those big punches. I think East is definitely the bigger puncher, but the work rate of the Good is good. You think East is the bigger puncher? I think he's got bigger punches, bigger power, but the Good's has just got that high work rate, which is taking its toll over time. When four rounds are being punched constantly, it takes its toll. Well, time is running out here for Brandon East out at Gladstone Boxing Club. Woods just the Energizer Bunny at the moment. It's just picking him off. Brandon East now the face of East starting to look a little worse for wear. It's, uh, well, some say that at the end of a fight, if it goes to the judges, you can uh, you can sometimes look at the face of the two boxers to see who won. If they were judging it off that, East would, uh, well, you'd think he'd be behind. Yeah. And Woods continues to go to work. Yeah, Woods is definitely starting to just pick him off now. He's said, uh, East is standing there too much. And now his body shots are hurting him. Yeah, he's just trying to get away from Woods, really, instead of attacking when he needs those points. Final 20 seconds. Only one punch away in boxing, as we know, but East just, all he's doing is defending here in the final seconds. Yeah, he needs to be, like, reacting off those shots, you know, take the shot and counter with it, or... But like I said there, he just keeps spinning him. Oh, was a nice uppercut. Impressive display from Bo the Goods Woods. Taking on Brandon East as both fighters go to their respective corners. This will go to the judges. Uh, we suspect, though, it'll be a unanimous decision to Bo Woods. Ricky, unless you disagree, of course. No, nah, I don't disagree. I think I think uh, East may have had the first round, but I think those last three definitely went to the goods. I think he boxed really well, and he had a super hard workout. You can't argue that. Let's have a look at the highlights from round four. Yeah, see, he just just moving him, playing, him, playing with him. Just every time he comes, doesn't let him set his feet. Oh, that body shot definitely hurt him. Yep. Scorecards. Judge Roy Saunders scores about 40 to 36. Judge Trent Van Galen scores the contest 39 to 37. Judge Paul Williams adjudges the contest 39 to 37. All to your winner by unanimous decision. And it goes to the red corner. Bo, the goods. Woo.